China's newest aircraft carrier, the Fujian, has just crossed a historic milestone, successfully launching aircraft with its electromagnetic catapult system. Unlike its predecessors, Lianning and Shandong, which relied on ski jump ramps, Fujian's catapults allow it to operate heavier, more advanced jets. This technology, comparable to the U.S. Navy's Ford-class carriers, dramatically boosts sortie rates, payload options, and overall combat potential. For the People's Liberation Army Navy, it represents a leap from regional power projection to the beginnings of a true blue water navy. At the center of this leap forward is the J-35 stealth fighter. Designed specifically for carrier operations, the J-35 is a twin-engine aircraft with folding wings, reinforced landing gear, and stealth shaping to minimize radar cross-section. It carries weapons internally, including the PL-10 short-range missile and the PL-15 beyond visual-range missile, ensuring it can fight both up close and at long distances while remaining undetected. Equipped with an AESA radar, infrared search and track, and advanced sensor fusion, the J-35's avionics rival those of Western fighters. Its combat radius is estimated at more than 1,200 kilometers, giving it reach far beyond China's coastline. For U.S. and Taiwanese planners, this means a stealthy strike platform now exists at sea, one capable of targeting ships, bases, and defenses with far greater survivability than the older J-15s. Backing the J-35 is the KJ-600 Airborne Early Warning Aircraft, another first for China. With its twin turboprops and large radar dome, the KJ-600 is often compared to America's E-2 Hawkeye, and for good reason. It provides 360-degree radar coverage out to 400 kilometers against aircraft and more than 200 kilometers against low-flying cruise missiles. It can stay on station for hours, directing interceptors, coordinating strikes, and relaying intelligence to both the carrier and supporting warships. For the PLA Navy, this is a game-changer. Helicopters once filled this role, but their limited range and endurance left blind spots. Now, Fujian's air wing can detect threats much earlier, giving commanders a clearer picture of the battle space and more time to react. The strategic implications are significant. For the United States, which has long held dominance in carrier aviation, Fujian narrows the gap. The U.S. Navy still maintains the advantage in combat experience, global reach, and advanced systems, but China's combination of stealth fighters and carrier-borne AWACS creates real challenges in the Western Pacific. American carrier strike groups entering contested waters like the South China Sea or Taiwan Strait would now face coordinated Chinese patrols guided by airborne early warning, supported by stealth fighters able to strike with little warning. For Taiwan, the stakes are even higher. A Fujian-led task force operating east of the island could extend radar coverage far beyond Taiwan's shores, while J-35s could strike deep into its airspace or threaten its air bases. Combined with China's land-based missiles, submarines, and drones, this new naval air power makes Taiwan's defense far more complex. Instead of relying only on land-based threats, Taipei now faces the possibility of encirclement from the sea and sky. To be clear, challenges remain. The J-35's engines are still developing, the KJ-600 is in testing, and China lacks the decades of carrier combat experience that the U.S. Navy holds. But Beijing is learning fast, and each successful trial shortens that gap. In the end, Fujian is more than just China's third carrier. It's the first to combine catapults, stealth fighters, and advanced airborne early warning into one package, a true carrier strike capability. For the US, its allies, and Taiwan, the message is unmistakable, China's navy is no longer just building carriers for show. It is fielding the tools to challenge dominance at sea, and with Fujian's air wing taking shape, the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific is beginning to shift.